All right, this is an update on the uh, Edison Home Model D motor, and I have this trued up pretty good, as good as it's going to get. I've had it in and out of the lathe a couple times now. Um, chucked up both ends. My um, my three jaw chuck. The jaws just happen to be short enough that I can chuck this up and have the pinion be inside the um, jaws. I tried removing the um, the wheel, the second wheel, but unfortunately the uh, the screw head broke off. Uh, so that's not going anywhere. It's good and firm on there. Um, also on the uh, the third pinion here, have it soldered back on, as you can see, and done a little bit of cleaning with the file and uh, tried to make it look as as neat as possible. I don't think this job turned out quite as neat as um, the repair I did on that machine up there but I think this is going to be functional and I've already had both of these gears in together to check the mesh to make sure everything would be okay and I'm I'm quite happy with that you can see that chamfer is very nicely filled in same thing on the chamfer here very nicely filled in and then while this was still mounted in the um, in the lathe I I turned it down and then dressed it with a file you can see a little bit of stray solder that got into some of these teeth. You can see there's the um, where the crack is at, the solder that's in there. Um, the gear teeth look like they're spaced out wider there, but it, they're not really. It meshes real nice and smooth. In fact, let's um, take that apart where I can show it to you. Better get the uh, the prop here. I'll hold it, hold it in place. This uh, gear cluster cleaned up real nice too. I used a solution similar to what I've been using for doing clock cleaning with, but I made it quite a bit more aggressive with more acetone uh, and added some uh, mineral spirits also and uh, made a fairly good aggressive cleaner that uh, I like using on uh, phonograph motors. Also added some ammonia Murphy's oil soap and some water similar to the clock cleaning solution it's just that in addition to the acetone there is also now um, mineral spirits um, there you go you see it meshes real nice no binding or nothing this is the direction that it runs in of course in operation these won't turn nearly that fast So yes, um, these these pinions are available from suppliers made uh, wider with a set screw as a repair item. 
but as you can see it's very possible with a little bit of patience and some solder it's possible to repair them and have a pretty good repair the other parts turned out pretty well uh, like I said the Murphy's oil soap brightened the brass up so there's the fourth wheel you can see it cleaned up very nicely I don't know what this streaking is all about it sort of tiger striping there may have to do with the fact that there was um, grease and oil on there and it allowed areas for the oil soap to uh, get at and not get at and here's the governor I went ahead and uh, repaired this governor since I didn't have any piano wire the right size and even though these are made this way these all still have a hole that's threaded and tapped for a set screw there so I got the correct size screw with a washer for the one that had the odd the odd size and then I got the set screw there and I just went ahead and left the um, um, the other part in with my Edison governor parts and um, that can be a repair at a future date I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal to the um, to the stable operation of it since the model the model B machines use a governor just like this and they're plenty steady um, like I said my uh, model A fireside had this type of governor set up with the collar in between the weights and the um, this piece of spring wire connecting that collar to the uh, to the end collar there and um, I'll have to sh do a video on it, show it sometime, but um, at this point it's about time to reassemble the motor, and the spring barrel is still sitting there. I took the main wheel off and cleaned it. I haven't taken the um, spring out to clean it. Uh, I probably should, but at this point I'm not going to. Um, we'll do that at some later date. I didn't do that on the other Model B home that I've got. The springs seem to run pretty smoothly. So um, we're just going to leave it at that. These motors are fairly easy to work on at some future point when I feel like making a real mess and pulling the spring out to clean it. We'll, we'll do that. But for now, I'm going to reassemble it like this and see, see how it runs. So... We'll we'll run it here upside down on the tabletop before um, putting it back in the machine so you can see it running. So thanks for following along. This is Oklahoma Bridges.